8. All right, so I'm going to show you how to export your file. Um, the first thing you want to do is check to make sure all of your parts are uh, together as one. If it's not, just simply highlight all the different parts. Go up to Boolean, and you're going to union all those parts together. But mine's already in one part, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my volume of this part. So once it's all in one part, I'm going to go over to the lower right, and it says display mass property. And then it's going to let me know this right here. The volume is 0.148 uh, cubic inch. So that is perfect. This is That's under one cubic inch, so I'm good to go. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to um, whoops, right-click on your part. So I'm going to right-click on my part, and I'm going to uh, export. And one way you know if your part is not all at once is if it's not the same color, different colors, then there are different parts. So you're going to go up here and you're going to change your file name to um, your class period. Period, and then you're going to give me your last name, and then your first name, and then the uh, name of the charm. So whatever you call your charm is. And then click, um, click on the format, and it needs to be an SCL file. Make sure you it stays at millimeters because that's what the printer prints out in and then you're gonna hit OK So it's going to pop this up on the open with so this is the slicing program that I have I also have the ultimate Akira as well, but all I want to do is save my file So I'm gonna save my file and in, in my downloads, so it should be under your downloads and it should say period last name first name charm so if you were to try to open this you would need to open it with a um, with a slicing program. So um, I will show you that in the next video how to open that.